To embroider our 4x4 quilting motif, I've taken my 4x4 frame, I've hooped some no-show mesh stabilizer, I've cut my batting square, one batting square, and it's three and a half inches by three and a half inches. I've cut two of my fabric squares, and each one of those fabric squares are four by four inches. And then you'll wanna pick your favorite color embroidery thread. To get started, we're gonna go into our embroidery machine and grab our embroidery design. So I've gone into embroidery. I'm gonna go ahead and touch my memory pocket. I have a flash drive attached to my machine, so I'm gonna go ahead and touch the tab that represents the flash drive. I'm gonna go into my quilt block folder, and I'm gonna grab my design that is for my four x four. And it does say design one four x four hoop. We'll set it, we'll touch embroidery, and now it's time to get started. I'm gonna load my frame into my machine. And the first thing that we're gonna stitch is our placement stitch. Now that we've stitched our placement stitch, we're going to attach our backing fabric. So we're gonna take our frame and turn it upside down. And we're gonna grab one of our fabric squares and we wanna cover all four edges of our placement square with our piece of fabric. So you'll notice I don't see any of those lines that I've stitched. Now I just wanna peek up underneath it and just kinda of see that I've evenly spaced the square on those outer four edges. Okay, I think I have it in, in line there. Now I'm gonna just take some temporary tape and I'm going to ever so slightly catch the edge of the fabric and then rub my finger over and just make sure that the tape is sticking to the stabilizer. We're gonna do that on all four sides. Oh, I have a little bubble, so let me readjust that. I just kind of want to smooth it down to where it's straight and flat. And then here on the outer part, I'll go ahead and put my last piece of tape on. Now, just to be sure that this is stuck down to the stabilizer accurately, because you see that it's kind of lifting a little bit, I'm going to flip it over. And I'm gonna once again, just go ahead and rub across those areas where I have the tape. And by pushing on that flat surface, that's gonna help that tape stick more effectively. Okay, now we're going back to the machine and we're going to stitch our next step. And that next step is going to attach that backing fabric to the stabilizer. Let's go ahead and attach the backing. Now that we've attached the backing, we're going to flip our frame back over and remove our tape. Now that we've removed our tape, we're gonna flip our frame back to where we have the right side facing up. And we're gonna take our batting piece and we're gonna place it just inside the square. See how we can just ever so slightly see that square that we've stitched. And then we're also going to grab our other piece of fabric 
and place it right on top of that backing. So now we're going to create a quilt sandwich. We'll have our top fabric, our batting, and our backing. All right, I think I have that in place. Once again, I'm going to grab my tape. I'm going to place it just a wee little bit in on the fabric. We'll just kind of smooth it up, make sure it's not wrinkly or crinkly. Place that down. I'll go ahead and slip a piece on the each outer side. Now you'll notice that my tape is going to be a little wide on these left and right edges. So I'm just going to grab my scissors and I'm just going to trim my tape in half. And then I can use just a narrower piece on those two outer edges. Once again, just notice that I'm just ever so slightly catching the fabric. Okay, we have it attached. Now let's go back to our machine. We're going to stitch a tack down stitch onto the fabric and the batting. And then after that, we're going to stitch our quilting motif. So you'll notice why I wanted to just ever so slightly place the tape on the edges of the fabric. That way I'll be less likely to catch the tape in the stitching. If you do catch it, it will just kind of perforate out, but I always just try to not stitch into the tape. Now we're going to remove our tape. We don't need that anymore. Let's stitch our quilting motif. Now that we've finished stitching our design, we're going to remove it from the hoop. And I'm going to flip it over to the back. And you'll notice that I have some little long areas here with threads. So I'm just going to trim those back ever so slightly and just kind of clean it up a bit. And now we'll flip it over and we'll do our trimming. Now what we're going to do when we trim is we're going to trim one quarter of an inch from the outer square stitch line on all four sides. If yours isn't exactly even, don't worry about it because we've got a little stabilizer hanging on there and that'll help us kind of be our safety net. So again, just a quarter of an inch on the outside edge on all four sides. So I'm using that stitch line to align my mark on my ruler that measures one quarter of an inch from the edge.
Now we've finished our 4x4 quilt block. What do you think?